1000 levels for every class, hero, reinforcement, vehicle is what one may refer to as overkill, crazy. However, I saw this transmission, I was looking at it in depth, and I was like, oh my word, you guys have actually done this? This is just crazy. I, I can't comprehend what's happened here. I did not expect this from EA and DICE. I mean, I titled my live stream that we were getting 1000 levels and people were honestly disliking my stream because they thought I was lying just to kind of clickbait them in, which, you know, is a debate for another day to be honest, but kind of proves that a lot of people just didn't expect this to happen, including myself. And don't get me wrong, it's amazing that we've got 1000 levels. Is it overkill? I mean, it's a, it's a big, it's a big way up from the current levels right now, but it always gives us something to play towards. So once you reach the max level for a certain class, which is 70, or hero, for example, which is 40, you'll enter prestiges, and once you reach level 1000 for that, you will obviously be maxed, and it will appear next to your name, max. And the level up for troopers, heroes will be the same, and all the details for that are on screen right now. I'm sure you've probably seen them, but that's not my issue. Of course there's an issue, come on, it's me, but this is what I'm seeing coming up all over the place really, and it's we've got so many levels, they didn't just up this to level 100 or 200, they've gone all out and up to the levels to 1000, but what's there to work towards? After level 30 when all the star cards are unlocked, everything like that, all appearances that you can buy already, what do you get? And the answer is absolutely nothing, apart from a gold emblem, and uh, Max next to your name, really much is it? I would rather of them if they were planning on doing this because it was a huge surprise so it's not like they had to keep to a deadline EA and DICE for this, I would rather of them just hold, hold it back for a bit longer and then add in some pretty cool skins, some really exclusive star cards that only the really high level players can get, but nothing. Like I've made videos, so many people have made videos about the amount of skins, everything like that we could get in Battlefront 2. What about these really legendary skins like Battle Damaged Vader? Why couldn't they come into the game for level 1000 players? Kinda just eludes me to be honest as to why they've done this because who is gonna wanna work up to that level 1000? Obviously there'll always be some players but who's gonna wanna get level 1000 just for the sake of saying I'm level 1000. Obviously there'll be some, but a lot of people, the casual players, will want something to work towards if there was a huge skin at the end of it. Like imagine, we're talking like maybe Sentinel Droid Palpatine. How would that work? I don't have a clue whatsoever. But to reach level 1000 then maybe something overkill like that is needed because these are, they've just added in so many levels and there's like nothing to do every time you level up. I will congratulate EA and DICE on surprising pretty much everyone with this information. Like, it's amazing that they've thought about progression and clearly realised that everybody's max now, nobody's got anything to work towards, but you still need that reward for people, and there's no current reward in this game for people past level 30, really. But that is my overall opinions on this increased level cap. I think it's an amazing idea, but it's incomplete, and considering they didn't have any sort of deadline to keep to of this, it was a complete surprise. They could have held it back for a bit longer and launched it with at least, at least, I'm being generous here, two skins for each hero class, everything like that. I just, I don't get it. I really don't. So we're going to be leveling up and leveling up and leveling up and what are we going to get? A gold name and Max next to our name as well. It doesn't seem worth it to me, but let's see. They haven't exactly said anything about we're going to be adding on to this in the future. So if they come out and say that, then that gives me a bit of hope. But thank you very much for watching everyone. Let me know your opinions on this because I just, it confuses me more than anything. Thank you so much for watching though, I'll see you all next time.